And now to our main feature for today. Analysis of data showed that the value of e-payment transactions stood at 42.42 trillion in January, that went down by 4.3% month on month, to 40.6 trillion in February, from where it rose by 34% to 54.5 trillion in March. Now, the volume of e-payment transactions stood at 1.12 billion in January, rising by 29% month on month to 1.5 billion in February, and up by 46% month on month to 2.1 trillion billion in March. Uh, NIMS Instant Payment Channel had the highest volume of transactions with 123.72 trillion naira, and the largest volume of transactions with 2.5 billion during the period. Oluwa Shego Elegbede is the public relations officer of the Association of Mobile Money and Bank Agents in Nigeria, Amben. He joins me now to discuss further on this recent development. Thanks for joining us, Shego. Thank you, Justin. All right. Uh, it's as though the you know, electronic channels are for payment. Uh, this period is actually having a field day with uh, transactions actually rising. But in your opinion, how would you really say that uh, the POS uh, industry actually has performed in the past three months? Well, um, in the wake of the policies uh, released by the CBN, uh, it's, I would say it's tough stuffy. Um, at some point, many of our members, POS agents, were out of business. Over 70% of them uh, during the cash crunch. And also, the few ones that were available were really having the Traction in the transaction that the volume increased because, of course, limited number of agents were available to. So, so I would say it is better here not there. Uh, but of course, what really has given us this figure that you nailed out is is because people actually embrace alternative channels for transactions uh, when the cash was not available, and so. Not necessarily the computer banks, the fintechs that uh, had the field day and they saved the day for so many engineers. People were able to just register, get the funds uh, for payment of goods and services they, 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 they gave us, people rendered. And then, uh, so adoption of the alternative channels by the individual engineers is what has actually given us this figure that you gave us. Uh, uh, Shago, uh, so but a lot of people would actually uh, say that uh, the POS guys, th those that actually were working during the cash crunch, actually were really smiling to the bank in quotes because uh, uh, transaction charges, uh, you know, jumped to us about um, thirty percent. In in as much as most Nigerians were actually struggling to pay this, but so far now with. Uh, the recent development and the cash being available everywhere, would you say that uh, uh, your members are actually following uh, the due guidelines? During the, the cash crunch was not a regulated. Uh, it was something that was uh, controlled by market forces because for those that you mentioned were charging for, uh, up to 40 percent uh, charges we would also tell you they were buying cash even though it is illegal they were buying cash and they will tell you sometimes they buy this cash at uh, 200 naira per 1000 300 naira per 1000 they come back to their own house they also have to pay the cost and mark up and so get their own profits so but having said that since the Supreme Court gave the judgment and the government has uh, actually show obedience. Uh, it has, the, the price has really come down to normal. Even now, so, uh, some of them, they were charging exorbitantly at, at, at the time. Uh, they have resorted back to their own prices and some way, more like taking customers to use the alternative channel and QLS, especially now, because the cash is now surplus in the, in the uh, in circulation. So uh, that was a period that 
everybody, for those that were having their, their hard cash, were having the uh, feeling that say, but now the prices have really come down. And then I think normalcy has returned. All right, Shago, if you say normalcy has returned, uh, let uh, just uh, share with us really, you know, what is normal right now for instance before the cash crunch uh, nigerians were you know withdrawing um uh, five thousand uh, from um you know uh, bank um, agents uh, for about a hundred naira but uh, since uh, the cash crunch and now you know it went as high as uh, you know something about you know, 500 or 1,000 for 5,000. But right now, some POS operators are still paying out, charging as much as 200, 300 to, withdraw, to, you know, to dispense some 5,000 naira. So how would you say that normalcy has returned? Yeah, even before now, the other naira being charged on 5,000 naira, uh, it's not economically viable. Uh, or was not a very If you put it into consideration that we also live in this country and we also buy the same, uh, buy gas from the same police station, and fuel is now 210, 220 naira, and cost of every other thing in the market has gone up. So, on that 100 naira and 5,000, or even before the cash flow, was not the real reflection of what our people should be charging. So if you are being charged 200 naira or 5,000 naira now, it is really the price. 500 naira on 10,000, 400 naira on 10,000, depending on the area. But uh, I will tell you, the days of 200 naira on 10,000 naira should be uh, in the past now. We can't, because we, we also go to the same market like every other day. And we also shop in the same market with every other day. Yeah. We cannot continue to reduce our own terms. I get all of that, Chago, but what I really want to find out right now, you have members under AMBAD. Is there a regulate, in as much as it might have been subject to review, but is there a regulated um, charge on all of this, um, you know, withdrawals, maybe 5,000, 10,000? What is AMBAD doing as part regulating, you know, this um, charge to go across board? What we are doing is to decentralize the price regulation because no more state no two states are the same we understand the cost of living in lagos will be quite different from the cost of living in abuja and uh, in shokoto and, and the like so what the national executive council has done is to mandate each state chapter to come up with the price list suitable for the economic reality of their states so you may in, in Abuja be getting ten thousand naira or five hundred naira, and then in Shokoto maybe seven hundred naira, depending on the economic reality and some other indices and factors that come to play in this regard. So that is the position of the association. Okay, let's still talk more about um, the e-payments and the financial inclusion vis-a-vis uh, -vis the uh, Central Bank of Nigeria's uh, you know, cash uh, withdrawal limit. It has been reviewed. You know, Amban, I remember then when it was actually subjected to about uh, uh, 20,000 per week, uh, there were you know, calls for concern. But as it is right now, still on uh, that aspect, uh, what, uh, how has it really affected your your industry and how have members been impacted on this so far? You know, how is business for them with this uh, policy and this ceiling that has been placed on withdrawal? So, so that is another factor that we need to look at. When we are talking about this uh, pricing and the charges that uh, agents charge across board, the, the limit is still there on, on, on the cash withdrawal over the counter and through the same. So what our members do, what agents do physically now is to approach merchants who have volume of transactions and cash and then try to help them to mop this cash and they take them to their own affairs and dispense to those that will need cash in society. So if you want to go as an agent to the bank to withdraw, probably you won't be able to withdraw more than 100,000 in a day. And that cannot as substantially help you to service those that you have within your area. So, alternative 
areas where we get cash is from merchants, finish station, supermarket, big pharmacies, and all of those. That's where we get our cash presently now. Um, we are still in talks with the central bank to give us that recognition and categorization so that agents, mobile money agents, would be able to enter into the bank you know, and withdraw minimum of 500,000 naira per day to serve effectively in their area. Shago, what is the future? You know, for the first quarter of this year, we saw um, a rise of 298% for e-transactions now. That was basically because of the cash crunch now. All of that is over. So what do we expect to see as per statistics uh, for this um, second quarter? I think what happened in the first quarter was it, uh, despite the numbers was expected because, of course, basically people had no other means of transacting during those periods, and then they had to resort to alternative channels. Going forward, I see the normal still returning, but uh, the numbers will, will still rise. Bearing in mind that a lot of Nigerians have also seen the need to embrace electronic uh, payments as means of livelihood and uh, to go about their businesses. So it's really but might be in, in, a, in a very uh, conservative uh, figure now, but it will still, there will still be increase in, in the numbers. But I'm not sure uh, the realities in the market will improve me, either right or wrong. I'm not sure we'll have the same spike that we had in the first quarter, in the second quarter. And a lot also depends on the viability and the sustainability of the infrastructure that we have in the banking sector. If we are able to sustain the upgrade that has come in in the wake of all of this, then people would embrace it more. But if we put into consideration that we still have a lot of uh, Nigerians who have issues this put in the first quarter that have not been resolved, even now, mm. then you will know that. And All right. there are some of us that still have creation using the alternative. All right, I must say a very big thank you to you, uh, Oluwa Shego, uh, Elegbede, the Public Relations Officer, the National PRO of Amban. Thanks for all the useful insights that you have shared. Thank you, Justin. Thank you for having me. All right, we'll take a very quick break. We'll be right back to round off with how oil uh, prices are doing uh, as at um, this month. Stay with us. <laughs>